Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to connect with you today. Today is March 24, 2017. It is a Thursday, so I think I got that date right. And I'm grateful that you're joining me on this Facebook live stream on this podcast. Today's subject is a very, very exciting one. I suspect that we're going to have a lot of listeners, and it is on how to discover and awaken your soul's language and your soul's voice. Souls have a voice, they have a language. And today you're going to not only be able to learn how to release your soul's voice and language, I didn't say you will do it, I'll say you'll learn how to do it. And you will also receive the beginnings of the practices necessary to be able to hear and understand other souls language and voices there is a great deal of wisdom and teaching that will be shared today including the nature of the soul and the nature of soul communication souls communicate with each other, with each other all the time it is very rare when souls are not communicating actually on the other hand humans we don't always do the best job communicating in fact that's one of the main reasons why we have so much difficulty in humanity today is because of our lack of effective and loving communication. However, in the soul world, souls do communicate. And they communicate without the movement of lips. And they communicate in using the soul language. So you will learn about what is soul language, how to open your soul language, how to connect to your voice, and a little bit of how you can hear others' soul language. So there's a lot to look forward to today. It's going to be a very powerful day. <clears throat> Earlier this week, um, I focused on some teachings around the soul and including what, how do you reconnect to your soul. This was yesterday. And then earlier in the week, I, uh, yesterday actually, it was how to develop your soul power. And so this week is dedicated to learning more about the soul, how to connect to the soul. Now everyone and everything has a soul is one of the foundational teachings that my teacher Master Shah has brought to us. Some of us believe that, some of us don't. It's not really necessary that you accept it as uh, something that is true to you. But the foundation of that wisdom and teaching is that Creator created everything, including every speck of energy, every speck of matter, and therefore all of those pieces of the Creator have spirit or divine in it. Therefore everything has a soul. And so with that as the base foundation, we will encompass quite a bit today with this soul communication uh, opportunity. So we have uh, some folks joining in today. Facebook is still out there reaching out. <clears throat> for all those that are on podcasts, for all those that are listening in for the first or second time, please make sure you like and share. Please make sure you also download and uh, bookmark this. Let yourself subscribe, I guess is a good word. And um, tell others about it because it's a great a way to share this wisdom and awaken as many souls as possible. So I'm going to take a few minutes and connect with all those that are just tuning in today. <clears throat> so welcome Ben, aloha, aloha Susan, welcome Brianna, good to see you here today. Aloha CJ, welcome Shari, welcome Ilona, welcome Angie, aloha Zilki, aloha Tammy, and Kate, welcome. Welcome Angie Taylor, Aloha Amy, Amy Hugerich, I believe I said that correctly, and Sherry, good to see you Sherry. Welcome Jennifer Crest Smith, welcome to Brianna, welcome Kristen Rojas, welcome Michelle and Katina, and welcome Susan. And I'm sure there are others tuning in, welcome Renee, welcome Ethrosini, welcome Lisa and Lena. Wonderful to see all of you tuning in today. Welcome Ted. So I suspect that much like yesterday when we got almost 50 people tuning in live, you know, these, these live streams tend to, to gather between one and 2,000 people after the fact uh, because not everybody can come live at this exact time. But just uh, the fact that um, the subject matter, I can always tell by the subject matter, the level of interest. Uh, if I, for example, focus on depression, there tends to be quite a few more uh, bumps in the video watching. People really enjoy the idea of soul and understanding how 
they can um, more fully connect to their soul. So it is a great opportunity. The wisdom that I'm sharing is from Master Shah. Uh, my teacher, Master Shah, is a world-renowned healer. He is uh, world-respected world at this exact moment in time. He is literally uh, becoming substantially more world-renowned in the largest country in the world, China, where 2 billion of the 7.7 .7 billion people live. He is making great headway. Uh, in the highest echelons of the um, of the government and art societies where he is introducing his Tao calligraphy uh, for maintaining the highest health and balance and he has already received the highest accolades from some of the most uh, respected um, um, masters in that industry in the calligraphy industry in the uh, form of art industry and in the feng shui and over there calligraphy is it's how do you put it um, from the from the Western perspective calligraphy would be much like a rap star um, or somebody that's a really popular musical artist so calligraphy has a 5,000 year history over there so if you're very good at it if you can recognize that that level you are a hero this is very very well respected because of the long-standing 5,000 year history and so he has been promoted to the literally the top uh, as a as a Dao uh, Shurfu or Dao master of calligraphy. So um, truly an excellent blessing for him for that recognition and what that means to you as someone listening to this uh, podcast, this, this live stream and the potential future is that there are more and more opportunities for uh, extraordinary blessings <clears throat> because he has placed these very special um, blessed calligraphies in, in his books. And if you don't have them yet, I highly recommend you get one of his newest ones, which is Soul Over Matter. And also an excellent one is Soul Healing Miracles. These are extraordinary books with extraordinary power in them to bring balance to your life. So please uh, share if you're enjoying this. Um, hit that share button. Let other people know. The amount of information that's going to come out today will be substantial. <laughs> and unfortunately... Um, somebody if they come in in the half hour time they're probably gonna be rolling their eyes because it's not gonna make a lot of sense to them so hopefully we can get them in early enough for the value of what we're gonna be sharing today can be understood so let us connect heart to heart soul to soul placing our hands in soul light soul service hand position which is with the palms touching each other very much like a prayer position we drop the left hand in front of the heart center Close our eyes. Let us connect. They're all beings of the light side. All angels, healing angels and archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus and saints. Kahunas, bodhisattvas, buddhas, lamas, sifus. We love you, honor and respect you. We invite you to please join us today to be present to each and every one of us. Bless us on our soul journey. Bless us to align to the highest version of our highest soul potential. Please bless us to awaken to our soul and its highest intention. Please bless us today especially to awaken our soul language. Please bless us to open our hearts and souls and receive the blessings from the sacred mantra. We offer our deepest gratitude to all beings of light to our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints for their incredible service. We offer our deepest gratitude for your life saving, for your blessings, for your guidance, for your wisdom, and for your assistance in every aspect of our life. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on and we invite all souls and all universes to chant with us at this time. So as we chant this source soul song, let us offer our service to join all hearts and souls together as one. For those that are new watching this for the first time, listening for the first time, this is a blessing. Keep your eyes closed and receive everybody else. Of course, we keep our eyes closed. Let us offer this blessing. Lula, lula, li. Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la 
ลูลาลีลูลาวัยวัวฉันฮัลลิงวัวอายทรนรันลวงลีิงรุงฮัลมูชิชังชนัยพิงอันเสชงไอพิงอันเสอ I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so very blessed to have all of you join me on this show. The love that you share with me is so astounding, and I, I send you my greatest love in return. Thank you so much. So, for those that I have not acknowledged, please forgive me. Welcome, Jody. Welcome, Michelle. Welcome, Janine. Aloha, Stephanie Cannon. Welcome, Kristen Strachan. Aloha, Angel. Welcome, Shnizana. Welcome, Janet. Aloha, Monica. Welcome, Nina. Welcome, Wakur and Nabadita. Welcome, Dana. <clears throat> and aloha Estella, Estelita. Welcome, Lila. And if I haven't mentioned your name, please forgive me. And again, once again, thank you for hitting that share button, letting other people know about this. So yesterday, we left off. We did not. We were not incomplete. But the wisdom and teachings of soul is very, 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 very profound and deep. Master Shah, who is the the. Uh, The creator of the Soul founded the uh, excuse me the Soul Healing and Enlightenment Foundation, Soul Power Institute, Love Peace Harmony Movement, uh, has brought to humanity 21 books, all of them speaking about the nature and the power of soul, how you can connect to the soul, how you can open your soul, how you can open your heart, how you can self clear blockages uh, in every aspect of your life. And every single one of his books are self-help related books. In virtually all of his books, he transmits what's called divine downloads and treasures. And what they do is they assist the uh, download, they assist the soul in its purification process. Because our frequency is is only so high, and we we need to surround ourselves with higher love based frequencies, higher light based frequencies. And as a a master who is dedicated to serve humanity. He has received authorities and abilities to serve humanity by transmitting power into books, objects, things. I, as a master teacher, have received extraordinary abilities to offer what what is termed special blessings. We used to say healing blessings, but we can't say that anymore because those at the very top that prefer to offer for healing in their their own way don't like it if anybody else looks outside of the way they want to be done. We have to use very simple verbiage like special blessings. So I was very, very uh, blessed to receive the ability for blessings. And it wasn't for this extraordinary teacher the ability to help somebody move from a very significant place of suffering to virtually no suffering in a very short period of time uh, would not occur. And that certainly is not the case for everybody, but I've seen it happen often enough to where it 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 puts for me a substantial amount of trust. And what we do, how, what I teach, and how it works, I speak very confidently because I've had nine years of experience building that confidence. And it is so also with revealing and releasing, uh, discovering your soul's language, your soul's voice. Now, yesterday we focused on um, uh, developing uh, your 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 soul power. And uh, I'm not going to recapitulate everything that was was spelled out yesterday. You're welcome to go back to the um, to the uh, live stream from yesterday on my Facebook page. Um, you can also go to my podcast, uh, which can be found on my website. And so, there are many ways to listen to these again, which is recommended that you also share. Uh, but at the same time, 
the gist of what was said in that was our separation from our soul the ability to hear it and connect to its power and allow our soul's power to literally come into us through us and emanate out through us which has the highest potential to to bring um, to maintain the highest balance in our physical emotional mental and spiritual health um, literally is astounding if we could truly just fully connect to our soul virtually every complaint you have about your life could be resolved and so it stands to reason there are 21 books towards that end from Master Shah because those who do the practices, those who awaken to the wisdom of the soul, literally can resolve just about all of their, their issues. I received a comment uh, earlier today from one of the students um, and they were saying, you know, in, a, in the period of about one month with one or two of the special blessings from Master Paul and, and following the, the wisdom and teachings from Master Shah, doing the practices, uh, this person of her own accord, there was no comments by me or Master Shah to do this, but of her own accord was able to reduce her medication about 90% and she's much, much better off. Um, why? Because the nature of soul is the nature of self-healing. When we align ourselves to soul, when we uh, release the blockages, which are, in, according to yesterday's wisdom and teachings, boils back and down to the release of negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, the release of self-judgment, self-criticism, and stopping criticizing and judging others, uh, and basically opening the heart, because we fail to forgive, near enough, and we open our heart, we are connecting to our soul. So that's a three-minute, very, very poor rendition of what happened yesterday uh, please refer to it if you want the full value of it now I have to go back over a very special part of what happened yesterday because after the first 30 to 40 minutes of sharing then we went into a, a very special practice this practice I have to go and remind everybody of because there are new people today so I'm going to scroll back and acknowledge some of the folks that came in in the last 10 minutes and so uh, again welcome to uh, Estelita, welcome Diane Wuchten, welcome Nebedita, uh, aloha to uh, also Lisa, Lisa Bellevance, welcome Renee, and um, let's see who else, I know I missed a few there so please forgive me for missing you. Yesterday when we went into the practice, what was revealed was a very special sacred code. Now, the short version is this. The highest masters rarely release the highest wisdom. One of the very special things about Master Shah is when he receives the wisdom, he releases the wisdom. When you practice, you receive results. As a result, his bank is always empty. It's never full. If your bank is full, if your cup of water is full, there's no more room for more water. So because he shares and he awakens humanity, heaven continues to release higher information to him. This information, the sacred code, was released to his spiritual father, Master Guo, about 50 years ago. And it was received when Master Guo was in a deep meditation connected to the source. He received this sacred mantra code. He woke up his one of his five daughters uh, and only one of them was was as connected as he was he asked her to go back into meditation he woke her up <laughs> so go into meditation and ask heaven for a sacred code didn't tell her what the numbers were didn't tell her how many numbers there were just said ask them for a sacred code and she received the exact same numbers this is a validation that it was a true heavens message this uh, has been used successfully for well over 50 years to help open our spiritual channels. Our spiritual channels, very simply put, are what allow Heaven, Divine, Tao, Source, and all beings of light to communicate with us. Every human being has spiritual channels. Nobody is more special than anybody else. But they have varying relations, uh, varying aspects of being blocked. So when our spiritual channels are blocked, we cannot connect to our soul. We cannot hear our soul's language. We cannot hear our soul communicate to us. And trust me when I say your soul is constantly communicating with us. So we have to uh, do our part to position ourself to be able to hear our soul. What is our soul saying? 
at delivering heaven's message. Our soul is an aspect of heaven. Our soul is an aspect of creator. It carries with it the highest wisdoms. So it's carrying heaven's message. It's carrying the message how to release our suffering, how to resolve our blockages. Our soul does not like to sit there and watch you suffering through your physical pain, your emotional struggles, your mental mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, and your spiritual journey, your financial blockages, your relationship struggles. Your soul is not enjoying it any more than you. It wants very much for you to hear its guidance, and it will say, do this, do that, don't go here, do do this, chant for this, do forgiveness practice here, serve over here, and he's telling you exactly what to turn left and right so that you move away from your suffering. That's the value of opening our spiritual channels. That teaching is like a full week, just, you know, like eight hours a day, kind of teaching how to open your spiritual channels. What you're going to learn today is just the tip of the iceberg, okay? And thank you, Master Shah, for this opportunity to receive the wisdom through your books and to be able to share it. Now, the first place this was revealed is in the Soul Mind Body Medicine book. This was put out about 15 years ago. It was his first book to reach a bestseller. And um, it is still extraordinary even today. It has so much wisdom in it. Some of the wisdom has changed over time as he received higher guidance, but it only represents about 3%. The other 97% is still uh, accurate. And here on page 149 is an image. I'm going to put it up close to the camera. And this is the image of the mantra and what it's doing to the body. Now, I will describe it for those that are listening on podcast. Uh, but this is the image of this mantra. And you can see numbers. And the numbers are positioned in certain parts of the body. Some of the numbers are, uh, in the, one of them is in the head. Some of them are near the ribs. Some of them is over the lungs. And so what does that mean? That means that a sacred mantra or a sacred code is purposeful. The, the, the way and the order in which the mantra is chanted, the vibrational frequency of each of the numbers is very relevant. The area of the body that they vibrate is very relevant. And, when, and even the way you chant it and the speed that you chant it is very relevant to opening your soul language. So, I still have to offer more wisdom and teachings because there are still new people. For those that heard it yesterday, it will simply be a deeper layer and a deeper understanding of what you were not able to grasp yesterday. The number code is 3396815. When it was revealed to Master Shah, it was revealed in Mandarin Chinese by his teacher. When his teacher, who was one of the most renowned healers in all of China, in his day he had 200 people a day come into his compound, and those people that were coming were considered the incurables. After everything in the modern medicine wasn't working, they would go to Master Guo's compound. And he would use uh, his, his herbs and his connection to the, the divine and, uh, because he had extraordinary um, service power that the divine had transmitted to him. And um, he had also received this code. And so he was using it in his practice and he found that once he received that code and started to have his students or his, um, uh, the people that came to, to reverse their illness, when they started chanting it, that there was up to a 50% speed increase in their recovery process. Why? The soul blockages were being released. The soul's ability to bring in the light was being enhanced by virtue of opening up the cocoon, if you will, which the verbiage that came in yesterday, of the soul. And so, 3396815 was the number. And how Master Shah first learned about it was he had asked to be a disciple of Master Guo who had no disciples. He had many students, no disciples. And Master Guo accepted him as a disciple. And in the letter of acceptance, he said, always love your mother, always love your country. And if you want to connect with me, 3396815. And Master Shah thought, what is this, a phone number? I, this is interesting. Okay, I will call Master Guo on the phone number. He realized it wasn't a phone number. And when he came to, to the compound to learn how to do uh, the higher level uh, blessings and teachings, Master Guo then informed him of the nature of how it vibrated certain areas of the body. 
So this is the beginning of how this sacred code was revealed to humanity. Master Shah then received permission from his teacher to place it in this book, So Mind Body Medicine, roughly 15 years ago. And it has been since used ever since to help to open the soul's channels. Now, the way in which it's incorporated is with, of course, the four powers. The locations is 3396815 is San San. Repeat after me. San San. San San. That is 3-3. Three, three. Now, as you say San San, touch your, your lungs chest area. San San. San San. San San. Okay? So this represents the area of the body. When you chant San San San, you'll actually, if your hand is on your chest, you'll feel your chest vibrate because it's vibrating that area of the body. The next letter is Jo. Place your hands but at your lower abdomen, just below your belly button. Say, Jo, 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 Jo. This vibrates the lower part of the abdomen, San San Jo. The next number is Lu, San San Jo Lu. Lu is the number six. This is on your rib cage, so place one hand on either rib cage. Lu, 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 Lu. So the, the rib cage, it's not vibrating the ribs, it's vibrating everything on either side of both rib cages. What is on either side of both rib cages? You've got your kidneys, you've got your liver, you've got your spleen, you've got your pancreas, you've got your stomach, very, and, uh, liver, are very important organs. And so when you are chanting lu, 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 it's vibrating all of that area of your body and bringing frequencies that have the potential to maintain the highest balance. San San Jolu Ba, Ba, Ba. Ba is your belly button. Put your finger on your belly button, your palm on your belly button. Say, ba, 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 ba. Yao, san san jo lu ba yao. Yao is the number one, top of the head. It's also re uh, referred to as yi, yi, yi. So yi and yao, uh, interchangeable. But yao, and then wu is the last number, san san jo lu ba yao wu. Wu is the number five. Now I know I'm going fast. I went slower yesterday and explained it in much more clarity, but at the end of yesterday, I promised that I would come back today and use this same practice that we spent a lot of time with yesterday and learning it, and use it to open your soul language. So I recognize that some of you are watching this for the first time or listening for the first time. I recognize that it might be a little advanced and you might be going, you know, I don't know how to keep up with this. That's okay. Go with it anyway and refer to yesterday's teaching either on the podcast uh, and it was called um, uh, how to, how to, uh, oh, I forget the exact verbiage, how to um, align to the power of your soul. But anyway, it was yesterday's. The last number is Wu. Wu is for your stomach. Your stomach is just below your left rib cage and that's the, uh, the last sound power. So place your hands on your chest area, repeat, san, 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 san. Place your hand in your lower abdomen. Jo, 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 jo. San, san, jo, lu. Next one is lu. Place your hand on both your ribs. Lu, 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 lu. Okay? San San Jo Lu. Ba. Ba is your belly button. Place your palms over your belly button. Ba. 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 And then, Yao. Yao is top of the head. Place your hands on top of your head. Yao. Yao. Yeah. You can feel the vibration difference as it goes up. Yao. 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 Now, the last one is the stomach below the left rib cage. Place your palms there. Say, woo, 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 woo. Now let's repeat it entirely. No movement of the hands, just follow with me. San, san, jo, lu, ba, yao, woo. San, san, jo, lu, ba, yao, woo. San, san, jo, lu, ba, yao, woo. Again. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu San San Jo Lu 
ba ya wu san san jo lu ba ya wu san san jo lu ba ya wu hao okay so this is the the sacred mantra three three nine six eight one five what is happening when we chant this i'm already getting hot just doing the chanting what is happening is the the frequency the vibrational energy is literally vibrating the lungs then it's vibrating the lower abdomen then it's vibrating everything behind the rib cages then it's vibrating again the middle of the abdomen then it's going up to the head vibrating the upper part of the head and shooting back down and vibrating over the stomach and it's vibrating in this specific order this starts to happen very fast when we move towards soul language which is the next step there's a very special step from here to there that i have to explain to you but i want you to understand that what's happening in his essence this is very much like a combination lock you want to think of of this just like all the exact digits that you put them up in a perfect order and you unlock the cocoon that's been holding you from aligning to your soul. It's been keeping you from opening your heart further, better, wider. Okay? Chanting, San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu, if that's all you did the rest of your life, would be one of the most self healing things you could do for yourself. There are many mantras in Master Shah's books, so many that people actually get convoluted. They're like, I don't know which one to do first. There's so many. He can't help it. He just espouses the, the divine wisdom that was given to him. We're very blessed. But if you just wanted to pick one, there's nothing wrong with this one. Now, this will turn into what's called soul language, if done correctly, and the potential for it to turn into soul song is there. Okay? Now, in order to explain to you how to open to your soul language, I have to give you an example. When we chant Sol, uh, San San Jolu Baya Wu very, very quickly, what happens is, uh, if it's done correctly, is a funny voice will come out of your mouth. Now, what does that mean? That means that we go San San Jolu Baya Wu, San San Jolu Baya Wu, San San Jolu Baya Wu, faster, 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 until you lose the voice. And then it changes. Now, for some, this will be very easy their soul language will come out in just a minute. For some, their soul language will be very difficult to come out. The ones that is difficult, in almost every case, it's because they are very heavy in the mind. They want to pronounce San San Jo Lu Bai Ya Wu fully and completely, all the way through. Even when they go faster, their mind says, I have to pronounce it fully and completely, all the way through. Wrong again. The way to do this and to do it right, to awaken the soul language. Remember, because when you're chanting faster, what is happening with energy? It's going zzz, 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 zzz. It's going up, down, up, down, up, down, sideways, up, down, sideways. It's cracking open the energy body. So when you do it faster and faster, what is happening is the cocoon is cracking open and the light is coming in. And the light is what is, will reveal your soul's language. Now your soul, and its language is very, very happy. It can come out in a myriad of ways. It's very different for everybody. When you move from the pronunciation, faster, 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 to a gerbilish, it'll just literally be gerbilish. It'll sound, it could sound very, it could sound da, 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 da. It could be, it could be very odd. That's typically when the mind engages and says, oh my God, what is that? I am weird. That's when the mind engages and says, are you kidding me? That couldn't possibly be my soul language. The mind is not our friend. The mind is the servant of the heart. And the heart is the servant of the soul. So do not let your mind be in control. In order to have the results that we want today, which is to open our soul language, we do not want to give the mind any, uh, any attention, basically. We want to simply ignore its thought, its judgments, its criticism, and perspective. We just want to allow the verbalization to go and just let her rip. Now, words along the line of practice. When you chant San San Jolie Wu faster, 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 which I will walk you through, 
some of you will run out of breath because you'll be sensitive and, and you'll, your breath will be up here. This is a relaxed practice. You can speak anything fast. You can say five words very fast without raising your voice, without running out of breath. You can do that with this. So try to keep in a place of relaxedness as you do this and you'll most likely be able to do it very well. Now, I will give you an example of my soul language. Okay? San San Joli Bawu, 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 San San 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 Bawu, can be very different for everybody. It sounds just like a little child, gibberishing. Children are soul before they become human, and they are most in the soul world as they are becoming more and more human. And so they carry with them soul language and then learn human language. Souls always communicate with soul language. Every soul can hear another soul's soul language. doesn't matter how it sounds. Souls can hear other souls' soul language. So what is the purpose and value of releasing this soul language? The purpose is when we release our soul language, it literally cracks us open to where we can start to hear our soul better. When we start to use soul language throughout the day to offer blessings to the beautiful birds in return for their bird song, to offer blessings to our children for their beautiful playing together. To offer blessings to our food as we offer it to heaven. Thank you, heaven, for all the blessings you give me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Buddha. Thank you, whoever is important to you. And then we might do San San Joli Bio, da 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 da, da so language, which is, that's the language of heaven. And so they're very grateful. And it opens up more light. So this is one example of the value of soul language. Soul language can, and very often does, offer blessings to another that could bring tremendous value to whatever blockage is occurring for them. So soul language has these attributes. So are you ready to try to release your soul language? Okay, hit that thumbs up, hit those hearts. I wanna see that you're ready. Guess you're not ready yet. I don't see any hearts, I don't see any thumbs up. Okay, starting to see a few now. Good. Okay. So, four power technique. Sit up straight. Place your feet flat on the floor. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. Okay. My screen is quite populated now with a million pop-ups. Love you guys. That's great. And so, <laughs> sit, up <straight. laughs> sit up straight. Feet on the floor. Tongues touching the roof of your mouth. Gently squeeze your anus three times. This connects the energy channel. Tongue stays touched to the roof of your mouth. <clears throat> Let us fully connect. We will start by grounding our energies. Put your mind in your lower abdomen. <clears throat> Renee, uh, laying down and chanting out loud is not good. This practice should be done uh, sitting or standing uh, to, re to release it properly. Whenever we're laying down or we're doing mantra, it, we, we drain our energy. It's okay to do it silently, but when releasing soul language, it is a verbal process. Better to do standing up or, or sitting up. Okay, focus, lower abdomen. Let us first just chant Jo to bring our power into our lower abdomen. Jo, Jo, visualize light coming into your lower abdomen. Jo, 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 Jo 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 One more minute. 
ジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョ Begin the chant the mantra of San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. When we chant this, keep your mind in your lower abdomen. Chant faster and faster. I will lead you through faster and faster. Release the need to enunciate each word. Go as fast as you can. And when the gibberish comes out, love the gibberish. Follow the gibberish. Allow it to go wherever it wishes to go. This is your soul language. Do not judge what it sounds like. Do not judge how little or how big it is. No judgment, no mind. Allow it to release. Let us begin. San san jo lu ba ya wu. 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 How? Some of you are already running out of breath. I wanted to prepare you. We're going to do it again. Take a deep breath. Release. This time I'm going to go a little faster. Keep your thoughts and your breath in your lower abdomen. No need to run out of breath. Take a deep breath as needed. No need to to run out. Short breath. Run out. Short breath. Take a deep breath when you need to. Let us begin. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. 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 San Faster, faster. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. San Faster, faster, faster. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. Faster, San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. Faster, faster, faster. San San Jo Lu Ba Ya Wu. 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 San San J
I am sweating just teaching this. So much energy. Okay, sharing. Who was able to open theirs? Who is still having some blockages? Sharing. <coughs> Kristen says she's sweating also. Yep. I tell you, the energy is going woo, 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 up, down, up, down. It's just, it's just opening, cracking open the body. The movement of energy is just an intense right now. I'm waiting your sharing. The energy is amazing, says Lizette. Silky, I opened mine in 2011. Oh my God, palms are sweating, says Sarah. Brianna, I believe I was able to open mine. Congratulations, Katie Nada. Uh, light language kicked in. She wanted me to speak slower. Very slow, the deliberate voice came out. Excellent. Susan, I was open and felt tingling in my toes, vibrating, sweating, pulsing. Janet, she feels like she was just about there. Very common set of combinations. Some of you know there. One of them said, you know, I, 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 I had to slow it down a little bit so it could enunciate after it came out. That's excellent. Wow, Kate, uh, wow. Uh, Kate says, wow, I think I actually managed it. I was tingling all over the faster I got, almost like a chill all over my face. Yes, that's the soul light coming in. I'm sweating and vibrating all over. Wow, says CJ. Notice how many people say they're sweating. That's because we're literally cracking open and allowing so much more light in. Ted says energy flowing. Susan says letting go at the end, laugh out loud. There was a heartfelt vibrations. Yeah, sometimes it's that. That's really hard to let go sometimes at that very end. F. F. Rossini, no language yet. Still focused on trying to say the words. <laughs> You're not supposed to say the words. Only at the beginning. And then you just let go and let whatever flows out, flow out. Uh, tingling in the palms and arms, says Estelita. Vibrating and sweating, says Barca. And Renee says something about the head. Excellent. We're going to do it again. Very good job. Very, very, very good job. Okay. Um, this is very self-healing. Uh, uh, Ale says, feels like she was releasing some anger. Absolutely. Why? Because when we do this, what is anger? Anger is associated with the liver. When we chant Liu, 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 that is the rib cages. So it's releasing the associations that the emotions block in our part of the abdomen. And so this is very beneficial for bringing self-healing to us, no matter how uh, or where or when we do it. It is so so vogue, so very powerful. And Kristen says the first several times she experienced her soul language, it was so loud and strange that it actually scared her a little bit. She thinks her soul was just so excited to come out that it that it has settled into something. Yeah, and this is very common. There are peoples when her soul language comes out. It can be very small. Others, it could be like scary loud. Um, it could it could just be one symbol after the other. La 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 la. That's okay. It does not have to have any associations to anything you know in the human language. I tell you, this is a very odd thing, even to be explaining and to experiencing. There is nowhere out there like that you're going to get this kind of, of sacred wisdom. And even if it is sacred wisdom, our mind still has to wrap itself around it and try to figure out what the heck this stuff is. Is it really working? You know, all that stuff. Um, it's one of those things where if you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. It's one of those things where you just got to do it. And then you know for sure that there's something serious going on, that something really important here is happening. And we're very blessed to have this kind of wisdom. So we're going to do this practice again. For those, <clears throat> we're going to ask, for those whose soul language came out, we're going to ask it to serve the others that are listening at this time so that their soul language can be revealed because we carry power in our soul and with our soul language and we can ask it to serve. So we're going to ask it, so everybody do this. Dear the soul of my soul language, I love you. You have the power to reveal yourself. You have the power to further reveal yourself. You have the power to assist the others that are listening at this time to further release their soul language, to open up their soul and their heart. 
do a great job. Thank you. Okay? So let us prepare. <clears throat> Try to be relaxed as you do it. <clears throat> Try to keep your breath in your lower part of your body. Let us begin. San san jo lu ba yao wu. 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 Faster. San jo lu ba yao wu. San jo lu ba yao wu. Faster. San jo lu ba yao wu. San jo lu ba yao wu. San jo lu ba yao wu. Faster. 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 San jo lu ba yao wu. Faster. San jo lu ba yao wu. Faster. 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 San jo lu ba yao wu. San jo lu ba yao wu. Faster. 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 San jo lu ba yao wu. 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 Faster. 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 Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Faster, faster, faster. Let it go. 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 Let how many more revealed their soul language this time? Were you able to go into it again? If it was your first time, were you able to duplicate that this time? Did it come out as easily as the first time? And was it smooth? If it came out again, congratulations. This is really your soul language. Give yourself a big hand, everybody. If it came out the first time, you'll duplicate the practice. And when it comes out again, you will know that that is your soul language. Okay, we've got a yes, yes, yes. Susan, this is her first time doing it. Uh, I know she's a new student. And uh, this is her first time doing it, but her second practice. And it came back. And so we know that it came out. Efrosini, I'm not sure, went into a little bit more. It sounded like a B. Very possible, Efrosini. Continue to do it. And if it comes out the same, very possible. You can ask your soul language, can you please um, express yourself more fully? Okay. And it could have a variation in it. I see Ali says definitely yes. Brianna says this is fun. It was the same the second time. Congratulations to everybody there. Uh, elation, yes. It's a very common sensation with this because we are connecting to our soul at a very high level. Kate says it came out again but took me longer because I kept thinking of the words this time. Good. Go figure. You you saw it though. That's that's good. So congratulations everyone. There may be one or two that have not commented that are wondering how come mine didn't come out, whatever it may be. We're going to do this again. We're going to use it to serve. We're actually going to do a practice with it to serve ourselves. Because you're all going to choose something that is measurable, a point of suffering in your own well-being. Could be a, a, a measurable is good if you choose a, an area of pain or discomfort. Okay, and we're going to ask our soul language, our own soul language, to bring self-healing to ourself using our own soul's language. Because now that we're connecting more and more to our soul, our soul has extraordinary power, extraordinary abilities, including the ability to, to bring healing to us. It's our blockages that inhibit that. So choose an area that you would like to offer a blessing to. Okay. Uh, now, you can, of course, choose, uh, like one of the students had a high blood pressure condition. It's kind of hard to test it now. Uh, given that she's been doing this with us for the last half hour, she, her, her, her health condition is probably a little bit better in general. But it could be a lot better. Hard to say. Okay, I see Renee says, my neck, good. Measure this condition. Is it a 5 on a 10 scale, an 8 on a 10 scale? What level is it? Okay, measure it so that you have a point of reference. I'm going to walk you through a connection at the soul level, uh, a quick forgiveness practice, and then we're going to we're going to connect to to the mantra of our soul language and then we're going to do the practice okay so everybody find the area that they want to offer blessing to measure it as much as possible so you have a point of reference <clears throat> and 
And so Sarah says something very important. She says, too many variations. I don't remember the sounds different the second time. Okay, so everybody pay attention to this. Your soul language is rarely, if ever, identical across the board. It can and most likely will change over time because your soul has varying frequencies and you have varying blockages. And so as you open up more, the frequency of your soul could come through more and therefore the soul language could change. Perfectly okay. Okay, so don't judge whatever comes through uh, whenever it comes through. Okay, so let us connect. We start with our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position, much like the prayer position, just simply dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, connecting heaven to, through our right hand into our heart center. We say, dear the soul, dear my soul, I love you. I really love you. I am so honored that I have this opportunity today to open my soul language for the possibility of talking to you and hearing you, for the possibility of serving better. Could you please, my dear soul, bless me to self-heal my area of request? And you can state your area again if you would like. I am very grateful. Thank you. Dear the soul of my soul language, I love you. You have the power to self-heal. Could you please bless my area of request? Thank you. And then finally, we do forgiveness. Dear the soul of my area of request. Again, state your area. Dear all souls in all time, if I have brought any form of suffering to you on any level, especially related to this area where I am suffering, I wish to offer you my most sincere apology. I deeply, sincerely regret any form of harm or suffering that has been caused upon you, your loved ones, or your ancestors in any time. I most sincerely apologize and ask for your forgiveness. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. If you have harmed me, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. Thank you. Okay, now we are ready. So, let us uh, keep our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position and let us chant. Visualizing golden light in that area of request. If it's a non-physical area, if it's a relationship or something like that, just visualize golden light coming into your heart. Okay, let us begin. San San Jo Lu Ba Yao Wu 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 San
Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many of you are sweating right now, right? How many of you feel the energy running through your body? <clears throat> Pay attention to your request. What did you request? What is the value of it now? We've only, we only did soul language about a minute and a half, two minutes. Not that much. Not near as long as we would normally do a practice because I could feel all of you <laughs> struggling with this because it's relatively new. But I wanted to do it long enough where we could, could have some results. As you become more familiar with opening your soul language, releasing and chanting your soul language, it'll be very normal. It won't take all your breath away. It'll be very uh, relaxed and beautiful actually. Uh, so expect that that will occur as you continue to practice more. But please share, what was your experience? Check your measurement. Are you doing better? About the same? It's okay if it's about the same. We only did a blessing for two minutes. But check in. Zilke says, more light and clear. Beautiful. Kate Nicole says that was a struggle at the end, yeah, because it's not something we're familiar with. It's a new language. And Estelita says feels lighter. Uh, Susan, wow, energy. I feel like I was shaking, sweating. Pain has dropped to almost nothing. Wonderful. A lot better. Uh, Athena says thank you. Kristen says sweating, vibrating, feeling blockages in her throat chakra being released. Some blockages in the throat chakra still, still need to be released. Katie Nada says I said my back, however my soul came through and, and eased her emotions, which is what was most appropriate. She felt the words I mumbled meant, I love you so much. Very possible. I'm going to finish with translation as an example. Congratulations. This is, uh, this is the most liked video yet. <laughs> Facebook tells me this is the most liked video yet. <laughs> Apparently, there's a, there's a lot of thumbs up. Uh, Susan Birchmore, my whole body is vibrating from head to toe, feeling very relaxed. Um, Alice is very expressive with her mouth movements. Shnizana says, hmm, buzzing all over her body, energy greatly increased. Wonderful. Uh, Kristen Strachan, something big, something kind of big seems to be going on with her thumb joints, particularly the left one. It feels a lot better now after this practice. She's very curious as to why suddenly there is um, this pain in her thumbs. Good question. So the thumbs are associated with the spleen. Spleen is associated with teeth and gums, so it could be some blockages in teeth and gums, possibly something associated with that that's showing up in your thumbs um, and the earth element. So Monica says, wow, it was such powerful practice, such um, cellular vibration on the crown chakra and feet and more. Greatest gratitude. Lower vibration release. And Brianna says, love the energy from it and sounded like a bird. Throat still feels about the same though, caught a cold from the kids. Yay. Yay for our kids and them assisting our immune system to become stronger. <laughs> Wonderful sharing. Excellent sharing. A lot of movement as you can tell. A lot of people stating energy, 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 buzzing, vibration all over. I tell you, this is, we're so blessed to have this kind of sacred wisdom shared with us. And so you could very quickly go into soul language San San Joli Bai, San Joli Bai, San Joli Now, what are the times in which you would use that? How about when you're wanting to go into a nice meditation? They're the soul of my soul language. Can you bless me to empty my mind so I can move into a meditation, peaceful place very quickly? And then you chant. Another example, dear the soul of my soul language. Could you please bless me to release this anger? 
this emotion, whatever it might be, that I'm feeling right now. Sounds in the Bible, the Dear the soul, my soul language, could you please, as appropriate, whenever you offer blessings that are anywhere outside of you, you always say, as appropriate. You never want to push a blessing on anyone or anything. We all have a heart to bless. We all have a heart to serve. But we must remember that when we force a blessing, we put ourselves in a condition of potentially being harmed. We must honor whatever is appropriate. Dear the soul of my soul language, could you please offer a blessing to my child, my husband, my sister? Okay, um, keep it to one person, maybe two or three at the most. Do not offer blessings for anything more than one or two people with your soul language ever. Uh, why? Because it's just more than we can handle. We have to be very smart about these things. This is at one time. Uh, as appropriate, and then we can ask our soul language to offer them a blessing for their headache, their toothache, their toe ache, you know, whatever it might be, back pain. For five or ten minutes, you could be uh, shocked at the results. It, it's, it's, it's astounding. I've done it many times and I'm, I'm shocked at the results. Soul carries extraordinary power. So, practice today was how do we connect to our soul to discover our soul's language. Our soul's language, as you just discovered, is out, can come out, and it can be slowed down. Mind, if I slow it down, we can also turn our language into a song when we slow it down. So you can play with that. That's a whole new teaching. It's called Soul Song. Master Shah, in, in his um, great wisdom, understood that Soul Song and Soul Dance are some of the highest healing that can be brought to humanity to serve them, especially in very difficult times. Because when people are going through significant stress and emotional trauma, if there was great calamity or something like that that ever occurred on earth, song and dance is indigenous to all the ancient societies and they carry with them the ability to to harmonize and to bring about the greatest love in the shortest period of time so he literally created soul song healers and soul dance healers so for those that are interested in in wanting to bring blessings to others through their song blessings to others through dance and movement and it really does work then you might want to look at the upcoming events um, uh, throughout Master Shah's organization for song and dance. I know there's one in Honolulu and there's one also in Australia coming up. So that's a, a side note just to let you know how significant and serious this teaching is. That there's literally entire, there's groups, hundreds, hundreds of people that have received the, the transmissions, the practitioner transmissions to offer blessings using song and body movement. And <laughs> it's extraordinary, the results. So this is how you can begin to open your soul to better connect, uh, to, to learn its language. As you continue to come to my live streams, as you continue to come to my energy center practices, which are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, one hour before this live stream, um, and, you know, my, it's on my timeline. I think it's 213-416-1560 is the phone number. 213-416-1560. And I do energy practices. Um, and those help you to crack open your body as well. Further, being able to hear your soul when it talks to you, to hear uh, the, the beings of light when they're connecting with you. 213-416-1560, um, and the dial-in code is 129-2267-POUND. 129-2267-POUND. And so, um, but if you can connect with me one hour before live streams on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm always focusing on one, maybe two energy centers or chakras and just really boosting that up. And what that's doing is it's clearing our blockages so that we can more connect to our soul in its journey. So I could go on for days and days and days and hours and hours and hours. This is a very advanced subject to be able to encapsulate it in such a short period of time when literally we give it a full day on a weekend course. Not easy to accomplish. Hopefully you were able to receive some value out of this. Hopefully you will learn more about Master Shah, his wisdom and teachings, get his books. As always, if you have significant blockages in your life, physically, emotional, mental, spiritual, nothing seems to be working for them, please contact me. 
My phone number and my email are on my website at asoulhealer.com. You can email me, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. Facebook message me. I can help you. I can help your loved ones. I can help you with just about anything, but I can't do it unless you let me know that you need it, okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you to all the beings of light who have come to serve. Please respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. For those that tune in Friday tomorrow, I'll see you when I offer the energy practices. Other than that, the live stream resumes on Monday. Bye-bye, everybody.